If you are thinking of starting a catfish business, there are basic things that you need to have before even diving in into starting a catfish business. Today, I'll be sharing with you the requirements for starting a catfish farming. If you are ready, let's dive in. Hello, my name is Daniel. If you are new here, I talk about business, money, productivity, time management, and personal development. If you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and turn on notification so that you know when I release a new video. The first thing that you need when starting out any business, be it a, a, an agri business or a normal business, is you need a location. In this sense, when starting out a catfish business, you need a very good location to start with. You can rent a place or if you have money, you can buy your own land. If you are going to be going into Ethnic Pond, you need a waterlogged area so that the water can be coming out from the soil. Or if you are going to be building a pond, then you need like a normal land and you need a space where there is drainage so that when you are discharging the water, can go directly and not disturb the area. So the very first thing, which is more important, is a good location for where your catfish farm will be. The second thing that you need as requirement for starting a catfish business is your pond. You need a place where you'll be putting your catfish in. There are different type of pond that you can use to start a catfish business. I've done a video I'll drop the link up there and also in the description box on the four types of catfish pond you can use to raise your cat. So you need to decide depending on your pocket on the type of pond you want to use to start with. If you want to know more or even construct a catfish pond, you can contact me through my email in the description box on how you can construct your pond. The third requirement for starting a catfish business is water water just like is important to human life is also important to cat fish so you need to have a constant supply of water if you are renting a place make sure that the place you are renting has enough water that you can use to change your catfish because you need to be changing them regularly maybe every two days or every day depending on how you want to better manage your catfish and how you want to better grow them for beginners there are people that do flow through for their catfish flow through actually helps the catfish to grow faster because there will be little deaths in their water and which means they are going to be able to eat more and even play around more their water will be clean so water is one of the very important thing when starting a catfish business the fourth thing that you need is a net when you're first starting out maybe you bought uh, fingerlings or juvenile you need a net to cover them because of birds there are birds that eat fishes when they are very very little or when they are tiny so you need a net to cover them up if you are putting them in in a concrete pond you can do uh, like all these nets that they can open and close or you can buy a uh, nets that you will just put there and cover that so which is important to cover them for a period of time when they are grown to the point where birds cannot feed on them again the next thing is to source for your fish in a very reliable place if you are just starting out i would advise you to go for juvenile because they are very easy to manage for beginners but again if you are someone that just wants to try things out you can start with buying fries or buying fingerlings but you have to make sure that you are getting the fish from a very reliable source if you want to get your fish you can contact me through my email so that i will get a very good fish for you and show you what you should look out for when tossing for your fingerlings fries or Juvenile. Another thing that is important when starting, which is requirement 
after sourcing for your fish is you need to now find feed for them i wouldn't say buy this type of feed there are different type of feed in the market that you can use i would not say use this it depends on your personal preference so you have scratching aqua blue crown copens there are different type of catfish feed in the market that you can use and if, if you want to go for the local feed you have to see that you know the measurement of everything you need to do when making fish meal for them locally so feed will be on personal preference and your pockets another thing that you need when starting up a catfish business which more which is more or less like the last thing that you need is a personnel that is going to manage the farm if you are someone that is busy and you can't manage the farm yourself you need to contact someone that will manage the farm for you which will be the whole person that will be feeding them changing the water checking out for some things in, in them and checking their growth i would advise that you at least create time for them because again person differs from person when it comes to farm management i would like to know in the comment section which stage are you in your decision making process when it comes to starting a catfish business if you've not subscribed please click on the subscribe button turn on notification so that you know when I release a new video.